Good morning, folks. In a few days, the Grail mission will end as the craft run out of fuel and are directed to slam into the face of a crater at the North Pole of the Moon. Not to be mistaken for the little asteroids that buzzed our planet this week, this is Comet C-2012V4 and you'll remember that from the stereo BHI-2 it appeared to be headed at Earth. It was merely a line of sight issue. Anyway, that comet is now beautifully visible shifting through the HI-1 frame, maybe SOHO here soon as well. Yesterday we had a few moderate quakes in Central America, but as of this morning it has seriously upticked. We had a few tremors along the Atlantic Ridge as well, and way up near the North Pole we had a large quake. Tropical Cyclone Evan is devastating the Samoa Islands and will begin moving quickly southwest tonight. As of 5 a.m., gusts were 145 miles per hour. Not far from there, New Zealand with yet another tornado dropped while Claudia's tail and shear are still causing problems in West Australia. Looking at the pressure map to the convergence zones for the thunderstorm watches tonight and tomorrow. In Europe, we have the big blue low and a big red high to the right of it, counterclockwise and clockwise respectively. Lots of precipitation and that dry central line has freezing air shooting south all the way to Bulgaria. Getting a little ridiculous now, not only are we naming winter storms, but the snow folks decided Torcon shouldn't get all the glory. Stormcon on its way. Anyway, that is one massive low pressure system on the west coast. Because you have moisture and warmth slamming into cold or dry air, you end up getting tons of precipitation from the Yukon, all the way south to the current weather watch zone in the southwestern United States. Wind map shows a nice northern flow in the bread basket. It'd be nice to get that blue off the temperature delta for a few days. Watch closely here as you will notice our magnetosphere taking minor pressure. The solar wind speed in the yellow was way too low for days, now climbing back up over 300 kilometers per second while the orange density line rose in turn to increase the pressure. Having a look at the sun, there's a lot going on right now. Filaments, coronal holes, and active regions like the bright set on the top right which you will actually see pop a little eruption. Came from the trailing edge of this set of active regions. Let's get a better look here. These spots are headed away from an earth directed position and the magnetics appear nicely divided save one sliver of the trailing spot. Beyond that, a group of snaking filaments on the southwestern limb erupted in succession, creating a solar tsunami, coronal loops of magnetic reconnection, and a sizable coronal mass ejection blasted into space, but which should miss Earth. Large south-central coronal hole, dark. NASA claims it will be geo-effective early next week, and with the uptick in the Caribbean plate, we'll call a small quake watch before the major quake and flare watch next week. I'll leave you with some more world weather. Eyes open, no fear. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.